Peace to the gods and the goddesses of the nation, of the land, and of all creation. Hope everybody doing well. Hope you blessed in a positive mood, doing something positive for not only yourself, but for those who come in contact with you. Family, y'all already know what I'm about to talk about. Yeah, I wasted a couple of days not even mentioning it, but you know that I got to talk about all of these shootings that's been happening with the police. And the suspect rushing into the police department in New York City, shooting at the police, injuring one, shooting him in the arm and the other one in the neck, who's still currently in the hospital at this time. We also, <coughs> excuse me, we also got news of the president not getting in getting indicted on all of the charges with the impeachment that we're going to be talking about. Yeah, family, I know I missed a few of these breaking news, but trust and believe, family, I had an input on all of those the whole entire time. And you already know what I'm about to tell you. This is the entire time that I've been telling you this for the last couple of months. Martial law is imminent. Nothing that the Democratic Party is going to do is going to get this man out of office. Even if they was to get him out of office, it still wouldn't stop the regime and the agenda that he has already set forth for the next president that will be replacing him. Now, let's talk about this shit with the dude shooting at the police. Exactly what I told you guys before. All they're doing is making the making the masses scared to be able to go places. You see, just recently, they had the shooting at a Walmart. Listen, all they're going to do is keep having these mass attacks coming until every governor and every state is going to declare martial law. And once every governor and every state declares martial law, who else will declare martial law? The President of the United States will declare martial law upon the people and upon the masses. And there really ain't shit that we're going to be able to do unless you build up enough nerve to fight these dudes on the forefront for your people and for your family and risk your life trying to gain freedom. Straight like that, family. Now, what I want you guys to know is, in my preaching, excuse me, let me get that skin off my mouth. In my preaching, violence to the government. No. But am I telling you to bow down to the government and accept anything that the government feel that they could tell you? Hell the fuck no, family. That's not what I'm doing. I'm never going to tell you something that make you bow down to a person who bleeds just like you. But I also want you to be on your toes, <clears throat> excuse me, and know what you're facing. You're facing an army. That has every single type of weapon known to man to these days. And they are at risk of using it on their own people. That means if you try to go against them with martial law, trust and believe, you will be that lucky 50% that get wiped out. They will use explicit and they will use harsh force upon you. Am I telling you that to make you scared? Hell no. I'm willing to die for what I believe in. I'm willing to die for my family. I'm willing to die for my freedom. I'm willing to die for my pride and my respect and my right as a human being to walk up across this land and do the things that I need to do in order to further my self-preservation and my family's preservation so am i telling you to be scared hell no i'm telling you to be prepared for war family be prepared to be able to be be prepared to have to strap up and load up because you got armies of people coming to attack you 
And in these upcoming videos that I'm about to be giving y'all, I'm going to be giving you strict tactics in order to use to self-preserve you and your family. So if you ain't already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe. If you ain't already liking it, make sure that you like. Get it out to your family. Get it out to your friends. Self-preservation. That's what we about to teach. Self-preservation. For you and your family. Because we have to be able to survive and not have to look over our shoulders and worry about whether or not we going to end up in some type of camp. That's not what life is about, family. So until then, man, stay tuned. Now, wait, I'm not even about to end it. Because I want you to really take into effect of the things that I've been telling you guys for the last couple of months. You remember I said in one of my previous videos about when they were tar targeting the Hebrew Israelites. And I told black people at that point of time, look out because you are not an exception. They are targeting the entire black community. It's just not the Hebrew Israelites. It's just not people of a conscious mind. It's black people on the whole. What they are trying to do is bring the military to police you. They're trying to get, let you know, just like with the cop shooting. They're trying to let you know. They're trying to get the masses to see that, okay, we are not even protected by the police because they are under attack. So when the police are under attack and you have no more trust, and safety in the police what does that cause for them to do that calls for them to bring the military in they have to bring in a harder force first before the army and the marines you'll see the national guard start to police your streets if the national guards cannot get it under control that's when you'll see the army start to breach your streets if they can't get it under control that's when you'll see the marines and Every other force that's in between with them coming into your home fronts, policing you and your family. Don't think that all of these attacks and shit are for no reason. Everything has a purpose. It's the laws of physics. For every action, there's a reaction. Everything is done for something else to occur after that. And what we're seeing right now with the police being targeted, what we're seeing right now with innocent bystanders in certain places in the community like Walmart, where regular pedestrian people, regular civilians go to shop and buy things to take care of their family. We're seeing these places being targeted as terrorists, as terrorists. You got people, you got to worry about people coming around stabbing you, hitting you with hammers, shooting you, targeting you and your families. You can't even be, you can't even have a peaceful mind when your kids are going to school. All of these are being put into place so the masses can be scared. I've told you this in many previous videos, family. It's all for the regular civilians to be scared and in order for the regular civilians to be scared they have to cause massive attacks throughout the world in order to bring fear in the hearts of a regular civilian but me i'm unlike a regular civilian i'm not scared so this don't put no type of fear in my heart and it shouldn't do the same to you family so for these next videos, and yes, I'm still going to be giving up my lectures. I'm still going to be teaching you guys things, but I'm also going to be giving you sound wisdom and tactics to be able to ready your family for the upcoming war. Until then, peace and blessings to the gods and the goddesses of the nation, of the land, and of all creation. Y'all stay blessed, stay healthy, and stay safe.